This video is sponsored by World of Worship Legends. Hi everyone! Today we are going to make a torpedo and for that I printed all of this. So let's get to it! This is the back part of the torpedo and we are going to install the propeller in this one. Spacer! And Spacer! Now you may be wondering why why is this in the back and, and, and this in the front? Well, this is a rubber band power torpedo, so uh, and we need to put now the rubber band in here, and this is what I will use to twist the rubber band just to, to charge it. <laughs> there is a similar block on the other side of the rubber band and it goes the same way. And now that we have this weird contraption in the table, let's continue with the rest of the torpedo! Look who has a torpedo on the table! <laughs> so, if I spin this like this, like this, like... <laughs> okay... <laughs> Somehow works. Next is what goes in this, in this hole in here. But before we do that, let's talk about today's video sponsor, World of Warships Legends. World of Warships Legends is a fast-paced game where you can jump straight into action. It is based on 9 vs 9 battles and the maps have been adapted for faster engagements, which will let you enjoy intense battles. And the game was on early access from April 16, but now it is in official release with even more content available, so you can go after trophies and achievements. And at every stage in the game, most of the game's content is free, so every player will get a fair experience. You can engage in epic battles versus AI and standard online battles, where strategy and collaboration are a must to master the battlefield. World of Warship Legends is all about big guns, big explosions and big vehicles, so the Tirpitz is going to be the biggest and most powerful ship so far in the game. At the moment, it is only available through the 5 weeks campaign, so do not miss the opportunity to be the first to have it. And the Tirpitz also packs an unexpected surprise for a battleship. Torpedoes! So now you see the point of this video. Don't forget to check the link on the description. Let's go back to the build! Now that we have everything in one piece, really a really cool piece, uh, we are going to put something in here uh, to make a fake explosion. It's like fake explosion. And for that, we are going to use a soda bottle that should fit 
tightly that should fit in, in here somehow. I don't want this to break because it's full of soda and it's going to mess everything. Soda bottle. <laughs> and for that we need two things. A way of pressurizing the bottle and a way of releasing the pressure. And we need to release the pressure quick and on impact. So I was trying to devise a method of, of putting something in the cap that will release the pressure uh, like very quick and tried different methods. The mechanism for adding pressure to the bottle was pretty straightforward. A tire valve and a bike pump. But the mechanism of releasing pressure was not that straightforward. I tried several things. M5 bolt, O-ring, through the hole, spring, washer, and nut kind of seals the hole, but that's not instant. Tried bigger holes, bigger springs, but finally I decided for a much simpler method. And with that solved, I, I devised a mechanism for the tip so I can do that on impact. And as winding, winding the thing by hand is a little bit between dangerous and, and hard, I made this thing. Let, let, me, let me show you. Now we have a pretty decent torpedo. I think it, it can move and it can fake an explosion. So now we need a torpedo launcher. So that's what we are going to make with this. <laughs> and we have a nice looking torpedo launching tube and we need somewhere uh, to put it and that's where this episode got a little bit more expensive Steering is done by the gunman too. It's very, very practical. 
Very good sideways movement capability. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> Okay, let's imagine that we have been hit in the torpedo tube, but we still have torpedoes. We can try a manual launch. So, manual launch in three, two, one, go! Well, I think that we all agree that the test was uh, appalling <laughs> and this, this, I don't think it, it really did move at all. It was just the, 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 the movement of the waves. So I did a, a small redesign and I did put a real propeller with a real motor in it so we can have some forward movement and we are gonna try to launch it against the wall to see if, if this pops the bottle and we can see something. So, let's go back to the sea. Lock and loaded. What a great day to launch a torpedo. Torpedoes! Please go and make something!